it's Ivy Slater, and you're listening to Her Success Story Podcast, a show where gutsy businesswomen share their success journey. Hi, this is Ivy Slater. Welcome to today's episode of Her Success Story. So today we have one of those fabulous content episodes, and I was starting to think about What's the important piece to talk about today? Um, and it's the beginning of all this 2021. We have some interesting things going on in the world today as it's been an interesting journey this past year and a half. The one thing I just did is I came back just a week or two ago from my first business trip since the pandemic. So it was wonderful. It was wonderful to travel. It was wonderful to get to Chicago. I've never been to Chicago. I actually got to see just a minor, minor bit with the sit in the city. I got to have dinner and a meal with a client who's been a client for several years and we had never met in person due to the pandemic. Wonderful things were was happening. And then I did something that was incredibly selfish. I took an extra day and a half and worked specifically on my business. You see, in the summer, we have this opportunity to slow down a little bit. When we slow down, we can, you know, for those who have been following me or follow me on social media, know I'm, I'm a weekend gardener. I have a little vegetable garden. I love my flowers. I play in the garden as often as possible. It gives me tranquility. It gives me peace. It also gives me the opportunity to step into my own creative zone, an opportunity to expand my mind, my mindset, and what's possible. So on this trip, I stayed and I got together with a colleague and we sat and we really worked and focused on my business. We looked at, gee, how has Slater Success navigated during the last 18 months? What did we learn? What did we learn as a business? I started my third book, never expected to do that. I started hosting visionary calls and opening it up to a wide range of community at no charge to sit and talk business. It was, I followed my heart, I followed my mind, I followed my gut. And I think there's a big business lesson there. Sometimes we just go with immediate gut instinct and we make a decision and we execute. Sometimes we analyze and plot and plan and then analyze some more. I truly believe in a hybrid approach and I believe Summer is one of those beautiful gifts in time that we can slow down that little bit, stop and smell the roses in my garden or your own garden. If you're not a gardener, go buy some flowers and smell, smell them. Take that pause. Think about your business. Think about what you're looking to achieve in your business. What is your long-term vision and what does it look like? I do this regularly with my clients and I do it for my own business. I think about five years forward. I think about how old I'm going to be then. I think about the ages of my kids. I think about what my life will be looking like in five years. And that gives me the ability to start thinking about how my business is going to complement it, how we're going to get there. What are the actions? Are we going to do new things? Are we going to be expanding? Are we going to be adding any new platforms? I.e., I e. just mentioned, you know, I ended up starting a third book. It was based on looking at my long-term vision, looking at where the opportunity was now and how I'm going to achieve what's important to me and building that business to make it happen. So a few points. This is early August. Think about what you're going to do for yourself to block out a little time to allow yourself to expand. Then block that time out and figure out what are you going to do with it? Are you going to do something creative? Before I went to Chicago, I went to see the Van Gogh exhibition. I'm a huge um, creative soul at heart. I was a dancer for 20 some odd years. I have that strong creative side. And I know whenever I slow down, I work with my own creativity, I expand my mind, I see things differently. I see them in a fresh light. And that always has a positive effect on my business. Here's a short story. About six, 
and a half or so years ago, close to seven years ago, my husband and I went on a trip for a big anniversary. You, you can guess what it was. I'm not going to share it with you today, but reach out on social media and under this podcast and let me know what you think it was. Um, we went away for this big anniversary trip and we went to um, Nicaragua and we were on the beach and my husband dozes off to a nap and he opens his eyes and he sees me staring out on the water and he goes, oh dear, I know that face. What's up? And I said, I was just thinking about my business. And he's like, the last time I saw that face, you no longer was, you decided to leave printing. How significant is this thought process? You know, how deep, what are you thinking? Are we still going to be a consultant, a coach? Are you still going to have Slater success? And I said, absolutely. But I'm going to, I had some fresh ideas. I just slowed down and I was thinking and I let my mind go and I have all these fabulous ideas running through my head. I'm going to run back to the room and just kind of jot them down. And from that, I took my business an entire new direction, a very successful new direction. I didn't stop what I was doing. I didn't change my business. I didn't change my business model. I just looked bigger and stepped into larger possibility. And instead of working with one-offs or small businesses, I started working with small businesses under 12, 10 million as opposed to mostly solo practitioners. And I helped companies truly grow and scale. And I saw that what my true sweet spot was, not what it was thought it was, but what it truly was. And that experience gave me the biggest gift. It gave me the gift to stop, think, create, embrace, and then take action. So my action item for you today, listeners, is what are you going to do from showing up here? Are you going to take a half a day, a day, maybe more, and just step away from your business? Do something a little creative, let your mind expand, bring a journal, a laptop, a coloring book, and let yourself think and build forward. Think forward of where you want to be in five years from today and why, what that will look like, and then start mapping out the plans for a business model of that will get you there. One of the most important tips is to remember to enjoy the journey of everything we do. If not, why are we doing it? I don't know if I say if I'm gotten just too old to not do things that bring me 100% joy, or I've gotten too smart to delegate anything that does not bring me joy and stay in my sweet spot, showing up at 100% for myself and 100 plus percent for my clients because they both enhance the joy. Look forward to hearing from you. Leave a little note in the, in the notes below and let me know what action you're taking up from showing up here today. Remember to subscribe. We come into your inbox with interviews and great content episodes every Monday morning. And if something resonated with you today specifically, share it forward to a friend. Remember, we don't want to be greedy all the time. We want to share things out that make an impact. Wishing everybody a great August, and I will see you on next week's Her Success Story.